Monkey heard that meditation gives peace, focus, and magical brain powers. So one morning he decides to become Monk Eye. He rolls out a banana leaf, sits cross-legged, and whispers, Me ready for enlightenment. He closes his eyes. Silence. One second later. Did me leave stove on? Did me lock tree hut? Why banana smell funny? Monkey isn't meditating. Monkey's wrestling an army of thoughts. His mind is louder than a jungle disco. But here's the truth. This is meditation. Monkey just doesn't know it yet. Because the goal isn't to stop thinking. It's to learn how to stop fighting thoughts. Today, Monkey will battle his brain for 20 minutes and accidentally discover how meditation actually works. Monkey imagined meditation like a spa day for the soul. He'd float above the jungle, glowing, stress-free, maybe even levitating. Instead, five minutes in, he's twitching, scratching, peeking at the timer every ten seconds. Monkey grunts. Why time moves so slow? Me thought meditation peaceful. No, monkey. Meditation isn't instant peace. It's mental weightlifting. Every time you catch a thought and gently let it go, it's like doing a rep at the mental gym. Monkey expected fireworks of serenity. What he got was banana-flavored boredom and chaos. But that chaos is where the brain starts to change. Inside Monkey's skull, there's a war. The default mode network, the part of the brain that wanders and worries, starts firing. It says, Remember that embarrassing thing from five years ago. Let's relive it. Meanwhile, the prefrontal cortex, the wise part that helps focus, is trying to calm things down. It whispers, Breathe, monkey. Just breathe. But dopamine is missing. There are no likes, no noises, no shiny bananas. So the brain freaks out. It craves stimulation. That's why sitting still feels painful. Monkey's not lazy. He's detoxing from constant input. Meditation is like pulling the plug on an overactive jungle radio. At first, you hear static. But if you stay long enough, the silence starts to sound beautiful. Monkey tries again. He inhales. Exhales. Okay. Peace mode. Then the thoughts sneak in like mischievous monkeys. What if mosquitoes plotting against me? What if me never becomes successful jungle influencer? What if me out of bananas tomorrow? Monkey starts chasing thoughts, then gets mad at himself for thinking, then thinks about being mad for thinking about thinking. It's a full-blown thought tornado. And this is the exact trap most monkeys fall into. Believing meditation means having no thoughts. But the truth? Thoughts aren't the enemy. They're just jungle birds passing through the sky. You don't chase them. You just watch them fly. Here's what actually happens when Monkey keeps sitting on that banana leaf, breathing through the chaos. While he's there thinking, this isn't working. His brain is quietly rebuilding itself. First, the amygdala, the fear and stress center, starts to shrink. That's the part of Monkey's brain that screams every time someone steals his banana or leaves him on scene. When it gets smaller, Monkey doesn't overreact as much. 
the world stops feeling like one big emergency. Next, the prefrontal cortex, the part that helps monkey focus, plan, and not throw things when angry, gets stronger. Meditation is like lifting mental weights. Every time monkey notices a thought and returns to his breath, it's another rep for his focus muscles. Then comes the hippocampus, the memory and learning center. Meditation thickens it. Monkey starts remembering where he hid his snacks, what he read, and even that one banana recipe he forgot last week. And something magical happens to dopamine, too. When Monkey stops chasing constant stimulation, his brain starts producing dopamine in a balanced, natural rhythm again. He no longer needs constant scrolling or sugar bananas to feel okay. Breathing slow also calms Monkey's nervous system. The body moves from fight or flight into rest and repair. Heartbeat slows. Muscles loosen. Digestion improves. Monkey's whole system goes from chaos to coherence. So even though Monkey looks like he's doing nothing, he's actually doing the most powerful thing of all, resetting his internal jungle. Meditation isn't about running from thoughts. It's about teaching the brain that stillness isn't danger. The longer Monkey practices, the faster his stress hormones drop, the steadier his focus becomes, and the easier it gets to feel calm in the middle of noise. It's not spiritual magic. It's pure jungle biology. Peace, it turns out, is just science with better posture. Twenty minutes later, Monkey opens his eyes. He didn't levitate. He didn't see glowing bananas. He didn't reach enlightenment. But something feels different. The jungle looks the same, but calmer. The noises softer. The air clearer. Monkey smiles and says, maybe me brain not broken after all. He realizes peace isn't about deleting thoughts. It's about not obeying them. His mind can scream a hundred things, but he doesn't have to follow everyone. That's real power. Monkey isn't trying to escape his brain anymore. He's learning to live with it. Now Monkey has a system. Start small. Two minutes a day. Don't fight thoughts. Watch them. Breathe slow. Count to four. Repeat. If you drift, start again. Every return is a rep. Don't expect instant bananas. The results sneak up on you. Monkey treats his thoughts like jungle birds. They come, they go, they chirp nonsense, and that's okay. Monkey used to think meditation was about silence. Now he knows it's about awareness. He's still the same monkey. Same brain, same jungle. But now he's not controlled by every thought that passes by. And the best part? The peace he was chasing was never hiding in the clouds. It was inside the chaos all along. Monkey says, like this video, toss him a subscribe. It keeps the bananas calm and the jungle peaceful.